<laughs> okay. Hey guys, in this video, this is really dedicated to all you guys out there who don't think you can cook. Maybe you can surprise your wife, maybe you can surprise your girlfriend, maybe surprise yourself. But in this, I'm going to show you how I cook chili and how it's pretty easy, pretty cheap to do. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and let's get started. All right, so this is really going to be all of our ingredients. We've got some uh, ground beef, some seasoning packets, some chili seasoning packets, cayenne pepper, chili, spaghetti. We're going to talk about that in a minute, so don't you worry. Onions, some knives. Uh, you don't need these. You can use a machete, an axe, whatever you like. Some pepper, some uh, sea salt, crushed tomatoes. You don't need the sea salt. Just use some salt. Diced, chili-ready tomatoes. Oh, you don't need that. That's vodka. Chili hot beans and kidney beans. And this is really going to be all of our ingredients that we're going to need, and it's going to be really easy. You guys are going to like this. So if you guys have any interest whatsoever of what sort of knives I'm using, I'll make sure I leave a link as well as the cookware that I'm using. I'll make sure I leave a link so uh, if you have any interest in that, you'll be able to get to that. So let's get started with this. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get these uh, onions all nice and diced up. So here we go. I'll peel some of this skin back. Get that out of the way. Throw this off to the side because you don't need to be clean or anything like that. So who cares, right? making food <laughs> and everybody knows you don't need to be clean to make food all right so here we go and you don't have to cut these in any certain way I'm just cutting these puppies up so do whatever you wish I'm not a pro cook this is just how we do it baby did I just watch an emotional movie I'm okay I swear to God it's not the onions it was the notebook So I just want to say that uh, if cutting onions gets too emotional for you, and I know it does, uh, it does for me, you can always uh, have somebody else do it. So you know, there you go. Problem solved. You're welcome. All right. So when you're finally finished chopping up all, <laughs> all right. So when you're finally finished chopping up all the onions by yourself, now it's time to put it in the pan. So we'll just take her over here, drop it all into the pan. And if you don't like a lot of onions, you can always do less. If you want more, you can do more. So this is all up to you. All right, next thing we're going to do is uh, put in our meat. Oh, look at that. It's like toothpaste. Here we go. Some nice meaty toothpaste. I'm just going to break it up a little bit here. There we go, just like that. Shop cat. So the next thing I'm going to do is turn the oven on between six and seven, but yours might be medium high. Just depends on your oven. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is just let this uh, cook until the meat gets uh, nice and brown and the onions become more like see-through, kind of like, uh, I don't know, my soul. No, wait, my soul's black, Never mind. So as it, as it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so as it cooks, I'm just gonna kind of stir it and uh, move the meat around and, uh, and make sure it's uh, cutting up and using math and dividing the meat. You can always harness the power of Michael Myers. Okay, so while you're letting that cook, just make sure you keep uh, checking back on your meat, on your onions and everything. So we're gonna start opening cans. And unfortunately, my can opener, my electrical can opener, bit the dust. So here we are. Now we're gonna have to open cans like a man. Yeah. Man. Opening cans, it's fun for the whole family. If your cat's anything like mine, he's gonna lay down behind you and try to kill you as you're making chilies. So this is what I've opened up so far, and what you open up is really gonna be dependent upon how big your crock pot is, right? So I've opened up two of the uh, diced chili ready tomatoes, chili hot beans, light red kidney beans, dark red kidney beans, and one can of crushed peeled tomatoes. So that's all we got right now. So at this point, we're really gonna wait for the meat to get finished drop that into the crock pot, and then we can start adding the rest of this and see kind of what we need next. All right, so checking out our meat right here. Check out my meat. So it looks pretty darn good. See the onions have uh, changed color a little bit, a little bit more transparent, translucent, all that. So all I'm gonna do right now, turn my burner off. Now I'm gonna take my meat, throw it in my crock pot. 
right? So this is where you guys have to make a decision based on the type of meat that you guys have. Uh, you may want to drain some of the fat out of here before you put it into the uh, crock pot. Mine, it really doesn't have too much, and I kind of like the, the taste of that uh, greasy fat a little bit. But you see, it's not really too much at all. It really depends on what kind of meat that you guys have. So just throw it in here. So now that we got the meat in the pot, we're gonna stay. <coughs> so now that we got the meat in the pot, we're gonna start throwing our open cans into the pot as well. So here we go. Chili hot beans. Heel, 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 heel. Light red kidney beans. Our dark red kidney beans. Now notice every single time that I'm putting these cans in, I'm not draining anything. Everything in the cans is just going straight into the pot. Then our last can, I'm gonna throw away the rest of these cans because I don't need them at this point, but the crushed tomato, peeled tomatoes, right? Throw this in here, but I'm gonna hang on to this can and I'll show you why here in a minute. Okay, so here's why we're saving this uh, crushed can. We're gonna add water. We're gonna fill this all the way up. And drop this into the crock pot as well. Now we're going to give her a stir. Just kind of put everything together at this point. Oh baby. Daddy like. So at this point when you're stirring everything together, now you want to look at it, look at your consistency and see if you want to add anything else. Do you want to add some more crushed tomatoes? Do you want to add some more beans? Things like that. So that becomes up to you at this point. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do before we add anything else to it is going to be this seasoning powder. Now, this is really two taste. So you can add one, stir it around, see how you like it. Uh, I'm gonna drop two in there because I know at least I'm going to want two and possibly a third or maybe half of a third and what have you. So let's drop one of these in and then we'll drop the next one in. I'm just gonna go ahead and stir this one in before I add the second one. All right, so at this point, this is what I was talking about. It comes down to your consistency. If uh, you like this, then you might be good to go. If you would like it uh, to have a little bit more crushed tomato, more chili, or uh, more water, it really depends on what you like. Now it becomes a taste test and you can see if uh, you like the taste of it, maybe you need to add some cayenne pepper, chili pepper, pepper, salt, what have you. This becomes your own to make at this point. Hmm. All right, so I think we're on the right track. Now I'll tell you this about me. I like mild, I don't like really hot or anything like that. Sometimes the chili powder adds a little bit more flavor. So at this point, I think I am going to add a little bit of chili powder and some pepper and salt just to try to spice it up a little bit. Stir this up and give it another taste test. Can any of you guys hear my cat outside screaming to get back in even though he's been outside for two minutes? Also, just another little thing. Um, if, uh, some people don't like the acidity of tomatoes. So one thing you can also do is take a bit of sugar, drop it in there, and that kind of kills that acidity level of the tomatoes itself. So just a little tidbit for you. So now let's turn this on, get it started. Okay, so here's the dilemma at this point. Do you want to add spaghetti or not add spaghetti? Uh, I'm in Ohio, so a lot of Ohioans, they like this, and then everybody else makes fun of us for it, but I tell you what, both of my parents are from Kentucky, okay? My mom's from Corbin, my dad's from Hazard, and my dad eats it like this, right? This is the way he made it, this is the way he likes it. So, and before there's any jokes about my parents being brother and sister and everything like that, they're not, as far as I know, but I don't count the six toes on both of my feet as you know, a possibility. So anyway, let's get back to the spaghetti. So I'm gonna add spaghetti to this, so let's do that. So before I put the spaghetti in, I'm just gonna let the water boil, but I'm gonna add some olive oil. You can also add butter if you want, instead of the olive oil.
and some kosher or sea salt. I think I said sea salt before, but this is a kosher salt, but you can add either one. And that just helps keep the spaghetti from sticking all together. All right, now that the water is uh, boiling, I'm gonna take my spaghetti, and I'm only gonna use about half of it, so. And I'm just gonna give it a little break. Breaking down, just like so. I think that's about half. So let's go with that. All right, and I just use these nice little tongs to help me kind of move it around instead of a spoon or anything. That allows me to get in there, grab it, and you also just kind of use it as a little spoon that can pick it up, just like that. All right, so boil this for about 10, 10 minutes or so, and then you can pull it out, pull a noodle out, give it a little taste. And you don't want it too hard, you don't want it too soft, but that seems about right to me. You can also do that little thing where you throw it, and if it sticks, then it's done. So let's go ahead and try that. Hey D, is this done? It's done. So now we drain our noodles. Bring it over here. Make sure we get all that water out of there. Alrighty, let's add it to the chili. And we're just going to stir that right in. Notice I had left a little bit of area so I was able to put this in. So that's one of the things you want to think about whenever you're going to add anything else in. And there we have it. That's good stuff. Guys, at this point, ow. <laughs> I think that's hot. <laughs> guys, at this point, it really comes down to taste testing for your taste. So I uh, appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll make sure that I leave a, a link in the description for a lot of the items that we used. Uh, this is not uh, funded by anything else. It's just what we have. So once again, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.